All right, guys, so we are back a couple weeks later. Let the whole thing air out. First things first is we need to pull everything out of it. Um, the guy who sold it to me left a lot of stuff with it, just in case I needed it. Most likely, most of it will be thrown away, but we need to pull it out and then probably wipe down all the cabinets and everything, and then finally we can start getting things done. So, gonna do that first. All right, guys, the whole thing is completely cleaned out. Looks pretty good. I wiped down some of the counters with Lysol. I need to wipe down all the cabinets before I paint them. Um, actually, it's smelling like lemon in here instead of must. Uh, we tested out the floors because we actually weren't sure if it was going to clear, but it looks like it will. Um, so we won't have any issues with that. Um, but yeah, no, now it's time to take all the door faces off so that we can get that stuff painted and then I can put the floors in. I want to do the paint first, so if I mess up, it'll be covered by the floors. All right guys, so now that all of the cabinet front ends and everything are all removed, you can kind of see it right there. Um, I am going to start painting them. I actually kind of already started just because I've never used a spray gun before. Um, so I wanted to test it out before I started recording it and I have it working. So that's about that's a bonus. Um, I will show you the Cabinets that are outside. So these are the cabinets There are the cabinet face fronts and the drawer fronts that I have laid out as you can see I kind of already started. Um, I'm gonna be using I just found this. This is wise owls um, One hour enamel which a lot of people have been using on cabinets as you can see and this is in the color Bone. It's supposed to be like a light gray, and that's kind of what I'm going for. Right now it just looks white, so I'm hoping that changes. But I have all these cabinets to do, and then I also, this is all the stuff I pulled out of there, I also have to do all of the cabinetry in here. The only issue that we found last time is that this is starting to rot out, so we're gonna have to replace this, or I'm gonna have to replace this panel, and I haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna do it. One thing I did notice when I pulled this out is like, you, that's the back of the trailer. So I might be able to pop the panel off in the back, but for now we're not gonna be able to paint this until we get that figured out. But everything else should be good to go. The one on the back looks fine. So I will record me painting. I have been painting nonstop for like the past like four hours and I'm kind of over it. So we are going to move on to curtains, which is what something I was supposed to do while I was at home. Um, didn't get around to it. So we're going to do it here and I will show you what I got and how we're going to do this. These are Target blackout curtains. Um, these are going to be for like the main windows, all the smaller windows. These are going to be for the bunk ends, which I'm very excited about, the cactus ones. And then these are the original curtains. I'm gonna use them as a template. I haven't decided if I'm going to sew. I might do a little bit of both. Sew, or I found this thing called Stitch Witchery, and it's fusible tape, basically, that you use an iron to do it. I'm not the best sewer, so it might not be a bad idea. You guys will kind of see how I go about this. Um, what I reuse, I'll probably reuse the C-clips that go on the little railing. There were some missing, but I might be able to make it work anyway without having all of them. If not, I will have to track some down and buy some. So we're gonna cut these up. Maybe so, maybe just use the fusing tape stuff because my sewing skills aren't the greatest. And I'll show you what's happening. How's it going? 